So you think battleships are obsolete? Well, let's say we built a new battleship from the ground up. I will put 12 inch guns on it, 4 twin turrets, and each gun with modern technology I think could get to firing one shot every 10 minutes. So 4 twin turrets, that's 48 rounds a minute of large 12 inch guns. And with modern gun technology, I think it could get a range up to 70 kilometers. Uh, 50 kilometers is more realistic, but let's say in good conditions, everything's perfect. 70 kilometers. Now, nuclear propulsion is the way to go. And I think we could get this battleship up to 40 knots. So, a 40 knot fast battleship with good armor. Now, you'd have to test out good modern cruise missiles are and stuff, anti-ship missiles are. Because the thing is, they can't penetrate very well because b- modern ships don't have armor. So, you got this 40 knot ship that can fire ooh, 48 rounds a minute. 40 knots and with, with precision guidance 12 inches so with drone reconnaissance and stuff you could potentially bombard a uh, uh, strategic location 10 miles 20 miles inshore 50 km 20 kilometers inshore uh, 50 kilometers away from the shore now i'm not using nautical miles because uh reasons uh should use nautical miles oh well but it's an example okay so that's 48 guided rounds in a minute on one location would be absolutely devastating that power is unmatched you would need a whole carrier air arm to do something that powerful and you could do this on five locations in less than 10 minutes with a battleship and let's say the enemy manages to hit you with one of the anti-ship missiles it practically won't do anything that is the power of a modern battleship. Now, 40 knots, that is pretty quick. So, you could have a sortie with, I don't know, an island 200 kilometers away. You could completely devastate that island and make it back home by the end of the d- day. And, it'd be p- and you would be perfectly safe. That is why battleships are needed in the modern battleship field.